they would war or be starving and poor if we just got smart and shot all of them instead. So in February 1917, there were massive uprisings, and Tsar Nicholas knew his time had come, and he just gave up and went. And power fell into the hands of the rich parliament called the Dumas, which became the provisional government. But this group still did not give land or food to the peasants, plus they continued to unpopularly fight World War I. All those disgruntled soldiers and peasants and workers across Russia were still angry and still wanted a bigger change to come. And meanwhile, Lenin was once again in exile, this time in Switzerland, when he read the news and he heard, and he took a sealed train across Germany and arrived back in the Russian capital.